sculpture, decorating, arts and crafts, these are all the peaks of the culture of the Great Steppe. Textile and felt processing, hunting and carpentry, as well as jewelry, all of these things are the treasures of our national identity. You can watch this program about the precious heritage of our nation which has come down for many centuries in the program Kaz Art on Kazakh TV. The Jetigen is an ancient musical instrument of the Kazakh people. Today we're making this Jetigen instrument. Typically the Jetigen instrument is made in different shapes to change the sound. There is not one rule according to the shape. And now I would like to show you the technology of making the instrument. First of all we have to choose the wood. The instrument requires a conifer tree and a fir tree wood for making the boards as these pieces of wood give great sound. We are now holding the fir tree in our hands, and I would like to show you the process of making the board of Jetigen instrument. Yeljas has won in different competitions, and he is well known as a blacksmith artist. He was born and grew up on the Piedmont of the Han Tengri, and has a talent in the arts, which was noticed since his childhood. The talent of this young boy brought him from the village to the city of Almaty. My father was a master of woodworking. As he died when I was five years old, I could not learn anything from him. But we have in our home all of my father's wood joiners. I grew up having learned this joiner. After the ninth grade, I was enrolled in a specialized lyceum number no. seven, majoring in wood mastering and musical instrument department. At first, we learned to make souvenirs. Then we started making small sizes of Kazakh musical instruments, and then we made big sized dombras and other instruments such as the kobus, the shertir, as well. Currently, I make musical instruments. <laughs> Yeljas has mastered the secret of making dumbras and has started to make other national instruments as well. The main purpose for him is that the instrument which is made by him should be liked and required by many musicians who will play on them. Typically, to achieve this, it requires the artist to be a master, and he should work very hard, and he should always research his instruments. When Yeljas completed the Lyceum, he entered the Kazakh National Pedagogical University named after Abai, majoring in art and drawing. Yeljas means when I tell him that he is a very good artist. Yeljas has mastered the secret of making dumbras and has started to make other national instruments as well. The main purpose for him is that the instrument which is made by him should be liked and required by many musicians who will play on them. I typically think that he will be one of the great masters. Currently, he makes different types of instruments. It shows his hard work in the workshop, his research skills, and what he would like to learn and to know. He makes a lot of things by himself. There will be certain things which will not be able to make him happy in these moments in his life. <laughs> We stick on the board and it should dry for one or two hours. When it dries, we make a body of the instrument. We need a special machine for cutting the wood and the wood should be partridge wood. Typically, we choose this tree as it is a very strong piece of wood. First of all, we have to measure and then to cut the tree. The Jetigen instrument's board, which had been stuck, is now ready in two hours. Yeljas takes a binding wood and then he starts planning with a jointer on board. As it was flat, the wood is ready to be put on the Jetigen's instrument's body. 
Now our Zhetagen instrument's body is ready, and we will draw the Kazakh ornaments in front of the instrument to look more attractive. They are horn ornaments. Each master has his own uniqueness in the arts. I do not want to remove my students, but I do have a few students. The uniqueness of Zhelgas is that he's made researching works, and he can use ornaments with his own taste, and he adds something original to the work. For example, leather or bones can be used in his work. These things are not available to be made by everyone. The master should connect every detail of this thing in his work. He is young, but he is a very creative person. Every year, the master who is interested in Kazakh national musical instruments has become more than the latest times. A lot of people use musical instruments. From this point, we can say that there is high competition among the masters. It is a good sign. There are a lot of arts and crafts of the Kazakh people. Especially, there are a lot of interest in the musical sphere. For example, we can talk about the Dumbra and the Kobus instruments, which have taken a place in the world scene. Currently, the national ethno instruments are highly required by the people. As people like the sounds, the languages which came from these instruments are very interesting to them. We know there are a lot of groups and bands, and they play on these national instruments in their compositions. That is why we say that the people are interested in these art forms. As this type of instrument was developed, the amount of strings began to multiply. The instruments were made from wood and the body of the instruments were covered with leather. In some ethnography information, there was mentioned a board or a body of some instruments. There were not tuning pegs of the simple instruments, as the players played with strings and the strings were tightened and bound to the instrument. If the musician would like to change the sound, they moved the sheep bone which was on the instrument. When musicians mastered the instrument, the instruments were developed and they changed in different ways. They made a neck of the instrument and frets as well, and the technology of playing on such a kind of instrument was increased. Currently, we've decorated our Zhetagen instrument with ornaments. Now we should put the strings on the instrument. The strings of the Zhetagen should be 23 or 21 for the orchestra. And it should be divided into two and a half, with sounds as octaves. The instrument which I made here has nine strings, one and a half octaves. It is for orchestra playing and compositions. Here we've made strings with a special mechanical string using a tuning peg of the instrument, and we made them from wood. And the bridge which holds the strings are made from the bones of sheep. In ancient times, it was easy to make the musical instruments. And nowadays, the requirements of the musical instruments are very high. As artistic people pay attention to these instrument sounds, quality, and design, and other things as well. 
we can notice from this tendency that the masterpieces of the craftsmen are increasing every year. Әлі біраз аспаптарымыз бар, енді оның бәрін түстеп айтып қажет емес шығар, бірақ болашақта әлі де істелетін істер көп. Әлі де жетілдіру жетіспей жатыр. Әлі де біз мұны жаңағы дүниезілік аренаға шығарады. We've got a lot of instruments, and I think it's not necessary to stop at each of them. There are a lot of works to do in the future, and we should develop them. If we have to make instruments, we need to show them in the world scene. If you will not make such a great work, we will not achieve our purpose. And we should realize our purposes. We should develop all of our instruments, especially wind instruments. We have not totally achieved the single level of the Shan Kolbus instrument. We have to develop this instrument as well. There are other instruments as well, such as the Gel Buaz and the Mescarin, which also should be developed. Subsequently, there are different instruments and our museum should develop them. The Jetagen instrument which Yelja started to make is ready now. The master has started to make the instruments and he made them in a new way to attract our eyes. The strings and the frets have found their own place on the instrument. Көнеде жетігенің шектерін жаңдай малдың шегінен болмаса жоқының қолынан тартқан сөйтіп. In ancient times, the jetigen is a Kazakh musical instrument, having an elongated rectangular wooden body with seven strings of horsehair, or cattle's intestines. The bridges of the instrument are made of sheep bones, and we decided to leave the sheep bones and add bones so that the sound will be strong. If they will be made from wood, the sound will be gentle and weak. The sound of the bones are strong enough, and that's why we've made the bridge of the instrument from bones. If you have a look at the Jetagen instrument which Yeljas made, it is mysterious and different from the ancient version of the instrument. There were seven strings with seven bones in the ancient version. And the strings which were from horsehair are to be controlling the sounds, and they put bones in place. Currently, we have more than 25 types of Jetagen instruments. Yeljas made this instrument with 19 strings. There are special tuning pegs as well on each fret. Subsequently, in the ancient times, people received a lot of pleasure from this instrument. And they told that the instrument connects the sky and the earth. The Jetagen is an ethno-musical instrument. You know the history of this instrument, and it's made in a very simple way. But Yeljas has his own uniqueness in making this instrument. At first, he makes the Jetagen in the same way, and it was left from our ancestors. He's achieved the good results, and he even makes cases for this instrument. We should say this is a great work of art. There are a lot of masters who make Kazakh national instruments such as the Dumbra, Jetagen, and the Kobus. But we have other instruments which also should be developed especially wind instruments and drum instruments. Zhou Laoshi and his students would like to continue making instruments which were forgotten by the people as their heritage. Yeljas has mastered the making of the Dumbra and the Jetigen instruments very professionally, and he works on developing and researching many musical instruments.